healthy epithelial tissues are populated by cells carrying mutations, and they are constantly fighting for space in a process called clonal competition where some of these cells show an increased ability to colonize the surrounding space and displace or eliminate less fit cells. Our laboratory is focused on understanding these mechanisms of cell competition during health and disease. We are interested in understanding how environmental factors such as radiotherapy, chemotherapy treatments, carcinogen or even diets might alter these mechanisms of competition between cells and how this might affect tissue function and tumor evolution. In collaboration with colleagues from stem cell and Sanger Institutes, we have developed an innovative 3D culture technique which allows us to generate, maintain and monitor in vitro for more than a year several types of epithelial tissues obtained from both mouse and human biopsies. This novel system takes advantage of the generation capacity of epithelial tissues to set up a primary 3D culture that resembles the original structure and long-term behavior of those cells in vivo. To generate these tissues, we use a specific scaffold with micropores that resemble some physical properties of the original matrix where these tissues come from. We can also perform long-term monitorization of these cultures by collecting supernatants in the same way liquid biopsies are taken in the clinic, which allows us to characterize more physiologically cellular and molecular mechanisms of cell competition during cancer evolution. We have been recently awarded with the NC3R's CIUK joint grant for developing this innovative 3D culture system that not only allows us to study cell competition mechanisms during a long term in vitro, but also it will tremendously help to reduce and replace animals in research. We are currently helping other labs to implement this technique in their projects. The final aim of our lab is to design external interventions that are able to shape clonal competition in tissues and deplete those mutant cells carrying oncogenic mutations before they develop into tumors.